Hey, what's going on, guys? Me out here. I'm bringing you a tut on how to do CC radio blur. Um, here it is on my most recent edit. So I'm not gonna play it because it's kind of too fast. I did it a little too fast. But as you can see, like not in the middle right here, but like on the edges, like around here. You'll see it's like a circle. It's just like looks like it's spinning around um so you can see like it's shady and blurry and you get close to the middle and it's all clear and everything but yeah it's like it looks like a circle like that and it just goes away you know all right so i'm gonna show you how to, uh wait a minute all right right here have it open i'm gonna import my clip so i'll just get this one <clears throat> Come on. Alright. So it's just an over the shoulder no scope by cash. Um I'll go right here. Find where he shoots. It's too laggy. Right. I'll go a few frames ahead until I see the gunshot. Right, right there. Then you want to go to your effects and presets tab and look up CC radial blur. Alright. And sometimes when you type in radial blur, see, they'll give you uh, two options. But no, you want to stick to CC radial blur. Alright, now go up here where you have all this stuff going on and you want to go one frame back first so here he doesn't shoot and you see no muzzle flash move over one frame there's a muzzle flash so you want to go back where there's no muzzle flash and hit the amount and quality keyframe all right and make sure the amount is on zero quality on 50 go back i mean one frame ahead to the muzzle flash put the amount to five or you can put three but I like 5 and the quality to 51.3 just makes it a little clear in the after you render it out alright <clears throat> now you want to go wherever you feel like is good so I'll go right here 2 seconds ahead and put it back put the amount on 0 and the quality back to 50 enter now let's okay press u on your keyboard to see the keyframe and b to do this work area so it could automatically snap to the time indicator so press b she snaps and then right here i'll press n to bring the other end so, and i'll give it a ram preview Now you can see all that stuff happening on the screen. You see it's like circular and only in the middle. And this area is nothing happening, it's only on the sides. Come on. It's very laggy right now. So yeah, don't know why. But I'll stop rendering right now. It seems good. Come on, stop Alright, you guys see that, right? It goes nothing to effect. Alright, well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and if you liked it, give this um, video a like, and be sure to subscribe. So you could be notified when the next tutorials come out. And until then, I'm out. Peace.